I won't bother. All right, let's go fight Achilles. Corrupted hero. Let's do this. Let's dance. And then you see how I use the power of the bird. I distract him. He cannot even take a swing at me. That was a close fight. <laughs> oh, I have not upgraded my sword skills enough. I'm way too weak. But having Phosphorus, you can see, is very a very powerful skill to have. Like that bird can distract almost any boss, and that is the appeal. That is the uh, main key of it. All right, let's see what's going on here. Couple of boars. Carefully approach the vault guarded by boars. Boars not unlike the one that mauled Adonis to death. You sure Adonis wasn't bored to death listening to one of your stories? <laughs> bored to death, get it? <laughs> oh man, Zeus. I have to say, boars and shielded guys, those are some of the enemies I have the most trouble with. Ah, uh, what do I do? Do I just destroy you? Okay, red means destroy. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> I guess it was destroy after all. I've seen all kinds of complaints about these airstreams. Like, people are dying in these. It's not just me. <laughs> just in case you're wondering. And there's the first tier of Aphrodite. We need three of those. Here, Phoenix found the tear that marked the tragic final moments of Adonis. The love Aphrodite felt for him would never die. All right, all right. She was sad. I get it. We do know all about Angry Birds on this channel, don't we? <laughs> Like, not Angry Birds, the Angry Birds, the game, but birds that make us angry. Yeah. <sighs> Alright, one tear down. The may have bested the mortal Adonis. The vault guarded by boars did not best our mortal hero. There's that smile again. Enjoying yourself? Always. Except when that eagle is eating my liver. Oh, that's when I'm enjoying myself. Oh, snap. <laughs> okay, Zeus. Okay, Zeus. Typhon had cruelly left the tears Aphrodite cried for her lost love in the very place Adonis was locked away from her. 
that poor go-go boy. Boo-hoo, please. I was just down in the underworld with Hades for nearly a month. And let me tell you, it's Slade. So that's where you were during the Typhon attack. I had to sample the new Lethian wine vintage. You know how it is. I kept forgetting to leave. Excellent. And surprise, surprise. We get another vault. I actually love vaults. Aphrodite is tier number two coming up. No tear weighs so heavily as a tear of love. And so no tear had ever been as heavy as this. The tear from the broken heart of the goddess of love. Ah, bah! Like Aphrodite is the first person to ever go through a breakup. Zeus, it wasn't a breakup. He died. I... True. Excellent! Another vault, another tier. Adonia! Ah! The smelliest of festivals, totally appropriate for Adonis. He didn't belong with Aphrodite, she was better than him. Adonia was a celebration of women's self-expression. They would dance on the rooftops, bringing scented plants like fennel and cabbage to their parties. In the spirit of Adonia, isn't it Aphrodite's choice who she loves? Not when it's rotten, like that smell. And yet, the women of these villages let it waft from the rooftops, year after year. Maybe the freedom to make the choice is what matters. Now, who's gonna eat it now that I, it fell to the floor? <laughs> we should have like a three second rule for cabbages. If it's down for three, more than three seconds, you cannot eat it or place it. <laughs> like in real life. And we're done. Surprise, another vault. Like, I had a feeling that this was going to be one of the kind of games that I really enjoy. Deep within the vault, Phoenix found one of the tears Aphrodite shed over Adonis. I really don't think Adonis was worth all this crying. He was just a pretty face. All right, let's get out of here. Excellent, another Zeus Lightning. I think we need six to upgrade our skill. The stamina skill, that is. Phoenix left the vault victorious, tear in hand. Smelling only faintly of cabbage. With yep. all three tears collected, Phoenix set off to shrivel Aphrodite's most stubborn root and open her vault. Ah, uh, yes. Too easy, forget it. Come on, Zeus. Man, Zeus and the sex jokes. <laughs> Alright, where am I going? I'm going in there, right? Those are the roots. Hoping to shrivel the root to unblock the vault, Phoenix sprinkled the tears. No! No! <laughs> Adonis, my love! Why does my mind dwell on you? What? What's happening to me? <laughs> Oops! I'd better go find Aphrodite. Aphrodite really loved Adonis. I married her off to Hephaestus. Yes, Adonis meant the world to her. I let that boar kill him. You did what? I mean, I didn't kill him, but I didn't try to save him either. I didn't what? listen to Aphrodite. Yes. I think they uh, they nailed it. Like, they made her be kind of uh, condescending and annoying on purpose. <laughs> 
Aphrodite, please. Just tell me what's wrong. Well, I appreciate that you were trying to help me. There was really no need to trouble yourself. I just thought if we could move the root, I could get you. I can move the root any time I want. Okay, take it easy. Well, since you watered my roots with the sea foam, that is. So, thank you. But there is no need to concern yourself with my essence. Wait. I've been putting up with all this, the tears, the horrific niceness, for no reason? You're undead to me. Hermes, all my pettiest jealousies and all my most self-absorbed beliefs are locked away. Why would I ever want to be reunited with them? Sure, you weren't the most charitable person, but that's not everything. Remember all the fun we had gossiping about the other gods? Making fun of the ugly Sasha's hair I wears to parties? That mustard sash made her look like a shriveled carrot! <laughs> no! No! It was all time wasted! I could... I should have been more... I never measured up. What in Hades are you talking about, never measured up? By whose standard? What's she talking about? I can't imagine. Uh -huh. No use. She won't hear reason. Try insulting some other gods. No, it would only be fun for me. Acts of charity are all good and necessary, but not from Aphrodite. Her spice made the world interesting. She added a zing to things, you know? She literally changed the world. I mean, she started the Trojan War, and also she could be named the most beautiful. That's it! I don't know if we have time to start the war, Hermes. No, no! We'll bring her the prize her vanity won her. Something she wanted so much, she let the world go to war for it. If she sees it, maybe she'll want her old zing back. The Apple of Discord. The Apple of Discord. I'll find it as soon as I can. Good. She's boring right now. I can't make one remark about what Persephone is doing with her hair before she starts prattling on about the needy. I miss the old Aphrodite. You might have offered Paris power, Hera, but it wasn't enough to win the Apple of Discord. Of course not. It was a total turn-off. Paris did want power. Yeah. She was a slave to love. Athena. If Paris had known the Trojan War was coming, maybe he would have taken the battle wisdom you promised him in exchange for the Apple. But alas, Aha! Time paradox! Wow. You're smarter than I gave you credit for. Yeah, look at Zeus. Sorry. I, uh, nodded off for a second. What is that? Uh, never mind. The apple of discord. All Hades broke loose over that thing. Three goddesses, toe to toe, for the title of most beautiful. Ah, but our hero knew the apple symbolized more to Aphrodite than a self-regard worthy of Narcissus. That's why she had to win. Oh yeah? What did Phoenix think it symbolized? Freedom. Oh, interesting. Wouldn't have gone with freedom. Aphrodite, I have something for you. I've had enough of your gifts. What I mean to say is, I'm only here to give. Not to receive. But it's another apple for your collection. It's so... beautiful. I want it. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Did you know the Trojan War could have been avoided if Eris had been invited to Peleus and Thetis's wedding? What? I thought it had something to do with throwing Greece! <laughs> the shade Eris was throwing, how did I not put two and two together? The best parties are the ones that the goddess of Discord shows up to uninvited. Everyone knows that. God fight! To think Hera pulled Athena's hair over an apple. Her own daughter. Ah, right! The beauty contest! What moron appointed that blowhard Paris the judge? I'm looking at him. Yep. To be fair, I'd had a lot to drink. It wasn't Paris's fault. 
Hera offered to make him king of Asia and give him great riches. Athena offered great glory and renown in war. But show me a god or mortal who could resist Aphrodite's bribe of true love. Yeah, sure. It was Helen of Sparta's love Paris was after. So he did exactly what you asked and chose the most beautiful woman. Then, you know, started the Trojan War. Oops. I wanted to win that apple so badly. I wanted to win that apple so badly I started a war for it. To show Zeus. Everything that came after was my fault. You were acting according to your nature, Aphrodite. Which is exactly why I'm better off without my essence. My nature caused only pain. That's where you're wrong, Aphrodite. You can't have one side of the coin without the other. Your passion, your unpredictability, and I'll say it, your jealousy, your vanity, yes, they caused pain. But you know what else they did? <laughs> what? They created some of the greatest adventures, the greatest epics, the greatest stories the world will ever see. I'm a storyteller, I know. Sure, we would all be safer if we just stayed at home, but everything's more beautiful in color. The passion is worth the pain. In that boat are my unfiltered jealousies and darkest natures. If I let you in, everyone will judge me. I've been judged before. Aphrodite, rein it in. Aphrodite, you're too much work. Aphrodite, you're too much trouble. Aphrodite, you're too much. Whoever said that owes you an apology. What a jerk. I never meant it like that. <laughs> Didn't you? You don't have to compete for my or anyone's love. You are enough. Anyway, if you're that beautiful and have a perfect personality too, well, honestly, it's just annoying at that point. <laughs> All right. I'll move my route. Please, take this blessing before you go in there. Yes, Aphrodite's kiss. Excellent. You can find me at the Hall of the Gods. Get off me, all of you! It's enough already! Why don't you just go get a job? Well, she's turning back to the... I had no idea Hermes and Aphrodite were so close. They even had a child together. No way. Boy or girl? No. Ah, I see. The child yeah. was non-binary. Look at you. Prometheus, I have an Amphora collection. I'm with it. Ha! Ah, nice. <laughs> I don't know if you guys get it, but Amphoras... Um, think of them like ancient Greek vases. I think you should, uh, yeah, that's probably the best description. These had various depictions on them, and a lot of them for us kind of depicted uh, how to put this lightly. Well, I cannot put this lightly, they depicted orgies, right? So <laughs> that's what Zeus meant. I'm with it, like, he's very progressive, I guess. All right, retrieve Aphrodite's essence from the vault. Now we're getting to the final quest, I think. All right, in we go. All right now, I'm guessing this way. As if I could ever love a man like Hephaestus. I mean, that face alone could seek a thousand ships. Oh, down below. Oh, let's just say there's no I'm thinking Underground 2 has a uh, has a storyline. Am I remembering this? Put so much pressure on us Sometimes we think we're showing love for someone, when really we're fulfilling our own needs through them. So you're saying I actually need someone to protect me? Not exactly, but it's so true. I've always had to stay strong for everyone. No one ever takes care of me. Prometheus, it's so hard. I hug you. <laughs> But I'm chained to a rock. Nice. <laughs> Love the dialogue. Oh. 
Is it a boss fight? It feels like a boss fight. Yes. Bring it on. Ooh, a flying enemy. I don't know how I feel about that, though. Yeah, if he's gonna be doing that. Ah, we'll see. Ozemin, the hurricane, is about to go down. Oh, Jesus, what is that attack about? Wow, okay. He married the first safe person I deserve better than his best. I will only hope. Which was pretty impressive. I thought this guy is Sun Oh, this is gonna be over soon. It's gonna be over very soon. <laughs> You're no match for me. <laughs> oh, I'm getting cocky. That was easy. People are threatened by my beauty. That's their problem, not mine. I must be seen. Yes, goddess Aphrodite about to be freed. Let's go. <sighs> How does it mean the hurricane? Yep. Didn't last very long. A hint of perfume wafted past. That smell. It's like embarrassment, power, and fear all in one. It was Aphrodite's essence. It's pure, unadulterated snark. Oh, Zeus. I told you I'd get your essence back. I didn't doubt that. But do you see me differently now that you've heard all my worst thoughts? Not at all. I'm excited to meet the real you. Because honestly, Hermes' hair is a bit much right now. Wait, what? <laughs> okay. Then I'm ready. <laughs> Phoenix strikes back with the hair jokes. Nice. Rumble, we got our goddess back. <laughs> Speechless? I know. Can you believe you actually had to convince me to return to this body? Oh, without you, I would have lost the ability to love myself forever. Actually, I stole that years ago. Clearly. Looks like you've been loving yourself far too much. Oh, you might want to disinfect that toga. Snap. Oh, glad you're back. Please, Phoenix, take my final blessing as thanks. Aphrodite's rapture. Now we got all three. I'm more than ready to take down the ugly beast that stole my beauty. But there is one other thing I could use your help with. What can I do? There are four mythical beasts Typhon brought out of Tartarus to terrorize the creatures of the Golden Isle. If you could end their reign by defeating them in battle, I would be extremely grateful. 
Uh, normally, I wouldn't care, but I guess I'm going soft. I'll take care of it. Of course you will. <laughs> <laughs>